We dig deep with the Summit Health Alliance, a healthcare solution made by locals for locals. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, a six-year-old boy from Dillon was struck and killed by a truck at Farmer's Corner yesterday while on a bike near the intersection of Highway 9 and Swan Mountain Road. Trooper Josh Cutler with Colorado State Patrol. The juvenile was hit by the pickup truck as it was trying to leave a access road. Uh, he was transported to Summit Medical Center, but unfortunately was declared dead upon arrival. The driver is a 19-year-old from Breckenridge. State Patrol has not released any names pending an investigation. We also do not know if the boy was with a group or biking alone. There's no suspicion of drugs or alcohol at this time. We don't have anything on charges at the moment, but it does remain an open case. This past May, another young boy was killed on a bicycle when he struck a vehicle in the Lincoln Park neighborhood. State Patrol reminds pedestrians and motorists to be vigilant at busy intersections for summer cycling. Season. Talk with just about any working adult in Summit, and they'll tell you the national health care system is broken and hurting locals who pay 40 to 80 percent more than Front Range residents for the same care. But talk to board members of the new Peak Health Alliance, and they'll say they have the cure. We started from a place of wanting health care to be local and accessible and affordable. That was Tamara Drangstavit, member of the board. The alliance is a project of the Summit Foundation, which recently penned a partnership with Centura Health. But who is this new health insurance? for fellow board member Mark Spears with the foundation. If you're an individual purchasing on the market, if you're a small business, if you are a larger business or self-insured, there will be a product option for everyone available when this comes out. The Centura partnership gives the alliance leverage when trying to lower costs, but first came partners like Vail Resorts, Breckenridge Grand Vacations, and town governments responsible for 90% of claims. Assistant County Manager Sarah Vane. Those employers were critical in terms of helping us get enough lives to potentially make this work. With Centura and other big players on board, the alliance sent proposals to insurance carriers for better rates. Those bids should be ready by April 30th. Drinks to eat. The rates that we have negotiated with Centura are low enough that they should have a pretty significant impact on the end equation. Rates go public this summer with enrollment by fall, what Vane calls a grassroots solution to a convoluted system. It's locals negotiating on behalf of locals. Officials at the Colorado Capitol say this could be the model for state-run health care in the future. Learn more about Peak Health Alliance at summitfoundation.org. As yet another storm rolls through Summit, Breckenridge is honoring the folks who kept roads and sidewalks clear this snowy winter. Tomorrow morning, the town holds a special breakfast for the Streets and Parks Department. A staff of 17 that moved 3,000 dump trucks worth of snow in March alone, 200 more than all of last season. Respect to the plow drivers. <laughs> That was the starting gun at the A Basin Enduro, where 32 pairs of skiers and riders just finished with 10 hours worth of lapping pally chair. It's all to support two locals fighting cancer. Stop by the A-Frame from now until 8 p.m. for the post-enduro party with music by local guys Hobo Village. In sports, the Nuggets played the Timberwolves tonight at 8.30 on ESPN, and today's Rockies game against the Braves was snowed out, rescheduled for August. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Girls Lacrosse plays Roaring Fork at home today. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.